This demo will show how to use Stackstorm, Extreme SLX, and CloudShark to simplify packet captures. In our network, we have a pair of SLX switches. From Slack, we're going to kick off a Stackstorm workflow that will use the inside architecture to capture packets on both switches, and we'll then upload them to CloudShark. We can then view those in our browser. We've configured our chatbot to respond to certain commands. The multi-capture command will trigger a packet capture. We just need to provide a filter and the switches to run it on. Optionally, we can provide a timeout or maximum packet count. Let's capture some BGP traffic on SLX 1 and 2. We'll set the timeout to 30 seconds. When we run this, it triggers a workflow on the Stackstorm server. This goes through a sequence of actions to set up the mirroring, collect the packets, copy them back to our server, and then upload them to CloudShark. This is done in parallel on all switches we're capturing data on. At the end, it will post links to Slack. As it runs, we can track progress in the History tab. You'll see a few duplicate actions in here. That's because we're running it on two switches at once. By now, we should have some results back in Slack. Looking at this, click on one of these links, and we can see the packet capture in our browser. This is using CloudShark, which acts a lot like Wireshark, but in a browser. We can look at the packet details, view traffic graphs, download the raw PCAP, or just share the link with someone else. To see the workflow code that we've used here, check out our repo at github.com slash stackstorm slash st2 underscore demos.